Hey everybody, Sophie is back to help us again today. Um, today we're gonna work on some leg tightening and I want you to see the difference between having tight legs and loose legs. So the first thing we're gonna do is Sophia, you can see she's seated and her legs are relaxed. Relax your legs, just let them relax. Okay, and the biggest thing that you can, um, the biggest way that you can tell when the legs are tight is by the muscles showing. So go ahead and tighten your legs. You see her muscles showing and relax and tighten. And let's all do that together 10 times. It might make your, your legs tired, but let's do it together. So relax and tight. That's one, relax, two, relax, three, relax, four, relax, five, relax, six, relax, seven, relax, eight, relax, nine, and relax, and 10. Okay, so you can see the difference. You can record yourself to see what your muscles look like when your legs are tight. Okay, and so the next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna try and tighten the legs so hard that the heels of your feet lift off the floor. So I'm gonna get down lower, and Sophia's gonna relax her legs for a second, and you're gonna, you can see that her heels are on the floor, but when she tightens them really hard, they straighten so much that the heels leave the floor. So let's do this 10 times. Are you ready? Relax, one. Relax, two. Relax, three. Relax, four. Relax, five. Relax, six. Relax, seven. Relax, eight, relax, nine, and relax, 10. And this can be pretty tiring for your legs because you're working hard. Okay, we're gonna move on to small leg lifts because we want you to see the difference. We have to be able to keep our legs tight when we're standing still and also while we are in movement. So that's why we do a lot of leg lifts with tight legs. But let's see what leg lifts look like with relaxed legs. We'll do five on each leg. Are you ready? Here we go. One and two. Five on the left leg. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. And the other leg, nice and relaxed. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's remind our legs of what they feel like when they're tight. Squeeze them hard, good. Now keep them tight like that and do five on the left leg. One, two, three, four, and five. Other leg, one, two, three, four, five. Let's make sure they're still tight. Take, put them together and let's see if those heels are off the floor. Very good. Okay, so now we're gonna do some drill standing. Go ahead and stand up, and you can see, um, it, we'll, we'll check out and see if we can still see the muscles in Sophia's leg when she tightens them when she's standing. So right now she's pretty relaxed, and let's see what they look like when they're tight. Squeeze, there we go. So the kneecaps get pushed back, and the leg muscles are tight and relax. Can you put your hands on your hips, Sophia? There you go, and tight. and relaxed and tight. Did you see that change? One more time, relax. I hope you're doing this at home and tight. Good, and now we're gonna do the same thing but we're gonna go up on our toes. Let's see how hard it is to balance or how easy it is to balance in releve with our body relaxed. Go ahead and go up on your toes and hang out there and let's see how long you can balance. See her heels are a little bit separated. She's kind of loose right now, but she's still, whoa, doing a good job of balancing. So go back down, and now I want you to tighten your legs as hard as you can. Everybody at home do this too. Tighten them as hard as you can. Squeeze those muscles, and then go up into releve and squeeze your heels together in the back so they're touching. That's another way to help keep you balanced. And then you can hold it longer and keep your posture 
Very good. Okay, go on down. Okay, let's um, see if you guys remember the lesson from a few days ago, we did a beam stand. So remember how we stand on a balance beam? Go ahead and pretend that red line is your beam. There you go. And you have one foot slightly in front of the other. The front heel is in the arch of your back foot, just like we did a few days ago. And relax your legs for a second. And let's go into releve with relaxed legs in a beam stance. Okay, just go on up. Don't. There you go. So she's starting to lean forward a little bit. And what if you tried to pivot turn like that? Could you pivot turn like that, Sophia? Go ahead and try and turn. Good. Let's try that again. Step forward and pivot turn again. Good. Now we're going to try the same thing with really tight legs and our feet squeezing together. So go ahead and get really tight and push up into releve. Good. And so when you do this on the beam, you want to squeeze your feet against each other. Uh oh. And you want to keep the weight over your big toe. You don't want to ever roll over to your pinky toes. So you want to keep all the weight over your big toe, keep your legs tight, legs, 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 and hold it. And then let's see what a pivot turn looks like with tight legs. And again, squeeze those legs. Good. She's a little wobbly today. Let's try it again, everybody. Ready? So go down on flat feet. We're all going to do this together. Here we go. Tight legs, posture is tall, and go ahead and step and pivot turn. And step and pivot turn. There we go, good job. Okay, okay so I want you guys at home to um, try those pivot turns with very tight legs maybe five more times at home. And if you felt like this went too fast, go back and do it again because all of these leg tightening drills will help you to become a better gymnast.